How many species are in this bag? While it might look like nothing at first, this one liter of water contains DNA from tens or hundreds of species. This is environmental DNA, aka eDNA. eDNA is any source of DNA an organism sheds in its environment. We can collect eDNA from water, land, or air to figure out what species are in an area without ever seeing them. We do this through a process called metabarcoding. Just like every person has a unique fingerprint, every species has its own eDNA barcode. Let's dive deeper into that subject. The barcode in metabarcoding refers to a section of a species' DNA that differentiates it from other species. Standard barcodes are the CO1 gene in animal cells and the MATK and RBCL genes in plant cells. The unique sequence of A's, C's, T's, and G's that make up a barcode gene is like nature's name tag for the species. Metabarcoding lets us translate nature's language into human language. First, eDNA is sampled from the environment. In the lab, we extract the DNA, amplify the barcode regions using PCR, and then use high-throughput sequencing to determine the various DNA sequences in our sample. Each sequence, called a read, is entered into an online database that matches sequence to species. What we end up with is a snapshot of the biodiversity in our environment. eDNA methods of assessing biodiversity are cheaper, faster, and less invasive than traditional methods. Since its first use in 1999, eDNA metabarcoding has helped us detect invasive species, monitor endangered species, respond to pollution, track airborne pathogens, and even uncover ancient ecosystems. Right now, we are living through the sixth mass extinction. By 2050, an estimated 30 to 50% of today's species may be extinct. Breakthroughs like eDNA metabarcoding can help us conserve the incredible diversity of life we coexist with, reminding us that we are just one out of millions of species we share this planet with. Environmental DNA. <laughs>